The Bitcoin hash ribbon indicator just flashed capitulation signal for the first time uh, in over a year, a little over a year. So let's jump in, take a look at that. We talked about this, I think, on the last video or the video before I was watching this uh, Bitcoin hash ribbons indicator, uh, buy and sell signal indicator, capitulation indicator. This is when the hash rate crosses over the moving average that kind of signals capitulation on the miners. So we're starting to get this now where miners are selling capitulating. There's a couple of um, articles out there about that, that the miners are unprofitable right now. And especially with inflation and energy costs, rising interest rates is a big one. A lot of the miners have borrowed money to finance their operations. So they're getting killed in a, a really it's a trifecta. They're getting killed with high interest rates, which affects their operating interest. Uh, they're borrowing interest to operate uh, low prices, which puts them into um, unprofitable positions and then higher energy costs due to oil and energy prices hiking all over the country. And that's only going to get worse in the fall and winter. Uh, we just got the worst inflation print uh, that we've seen in a long time. And June is going to be worse than May. So like we said on our other videos, uh, all that talk about inflation peaking is just nonsense. Uh, so anyways, here's what it looked like last year uh, when it started. So this, this looks like the same kind of area that Bitcoin is in right now. This was back around that first capitulation uh, in April of 2021, had a little bounce and then had a big, uh, a bigger drop. And this drop right here, when that flash for the first time was around 46%. And then price kind of flew sideways for a little bit and then ultimately capitulated further uh, from, let's go with the peak of this bounce to the bottom, which was another 27%. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's mostly sideways, but it did drop another 27% from this range high of this sideways consolidation back in that May through June into July timeframe. So it looks like we're repeating this type of price action right here, right now. And this signal right now has just turned uh, gray for capitulation, signaling capitulation. So that's what we have right here. Uh, interesting whether this is going to be the first part or the second part. And if you look at how this played out last time, you had this first little initial, and then it really went down kind of in this area. So we could be playing out something very much exactly like this. So let's see what that looks like. So the range highs right here. What if we go down? Bitcoin goes down another 27% from there. So let's take a look at that and see what that looks like. Let me get rid of the, let me get rid of this indicator here. 27%, what does that look like? That looks like right around, I'm running out of a scale here, 23,000 price range, somewhere in that price range. So let's check this again real quick. We'll take it off of here. Let's go 27% down. And what do we get? Even 27%, it's about 23,100. So that 23,000 plus or minus. Interesting, interesting number. Why do I say that's interesting? Because what's the other thing we've been watching? Uh, we've been watching the weekly 200, right? The 200 week moving average. So let's pull this up right here. And as price continues to march on and work its way down to that 200 week moving average, where is it ultimately gonna hit? Potentially right around $23,000. So very interesting that Bitcoin could see a bottom right now in the $23,000 range based on the hash ribbon uh, indicator drop from last cycle, last summer, right about this time frame. Uh, so interesting how that's lining up in addition to the 200 week moving average that we've been tracking. Here's Bitcoin on the hourly right here, uh, trying to maintain support at that 28,000 level. And then, you know, this can work itself way out for a few days. Maybe it drops down and this becomes the range kind of like, let's go look at what this looked like again last year. Uh, we'll look at it on the daily here. So as Bitcoin kind of ranges here, it had this lower range popped up, ranged up. Maybe it drops down and creates another lower range in this area, area here like this, drops down maybe to 25 and kind of ranges in this area a little bit before finally, you know, breaking down to that 23,000. Uh, type of an area. And that's kind of what we saw last year, right? It just kind of, you know, the range kind of dropped a little bit lower, took a leg down, worked its way down and bam, hit the bottom. And that was in, you know, the July timeframe. Now, the only caveat that we have here that, uh, you know, could disqualify in terms of the range lows and how far we could go is that this was still major, massive 
um, quantitative easing and zero interest rate policy. This time we're in the exact opposite. As you know, inflation is through the roof. The Fed's going to come out and get a little bit more aggressive. They're going to have to get more aggressive. Maybe they go 75 basis points. Maybe they go 100. Uh, traditional markets are you know, reacting severely, uh, closing near the range lows, like we talked about yesterday. Uh, you know, investor sentiment told you where they stood at the close with that big sell-off. You know, altcoins, uh, especially Ethereum, I was surprised yesterday on the video where Ethereum had dropped to now down to the 1500 level. Uh, major support level here. If that breaks, then you're looking at Ethereum to potentially testing down to that six, $700 range. Bitcoin dominance is rising daily, uh, which is not good for altcoins. That just means altcoins are bleeding on the Bitcoin pair. Uh, on the Bitcoin pairings and Bitcoin is just, you know, sucking up all the liquidity. So you could see another, you know, let's look at what, what that looks like. So if Ethereum drops down into that range, I mean, it's another 60%, you can see another 50, 60 to 90% drop in altcoins, you know, depending on the altcoin at this level. And I know a lot of people think that's crazy because they're down so far right now, but let's just take a look at Avalanche, okay? Avalanche right now uh, at its range at $19. Nobody ever thought it would get back there. Of course, nobody ever thought, a lot of people didn't think, not nobody, but a lot of people didn't think altcoins, Bitcoin, any of that could get to the levels it's at now. And as we know, anything can and will happen in markets. So 84% down puts you back to you know $3 before all of this run up. So these altcoins can and will, a lot of them drop 50 to 80 to 90% more from where they are right now. So just be aware of that if you're playing with altcoins, uh, getting in and out of these, especially the major alts. A lot of people think you're safe in major alts. Nothing is safe in a bear market, in a global macro bear market. Um, a lot of people out there have never navigated one of these markets. They've never been in it, they've never seen it, and they don't know what can happen, even though all you gotta do is go back and look at the charts in 2008 and nine. And uh, so I just wanted to bring that up. Um, that's the first time that I've seen the minor uh, Bitcoin hash ribbon indicator flash capitulation. This is a capitulation signal right here. And if you want to learn more about that, uh, I'll tell you a really good resource to go to is um, look into Bitcoin. They have a lot of great charts. And I'll, I'll do a video on this maybe next week and look at some of these charts. But look into Bitcoin has a really good description of the hash ribbon indicator as well as other uh, my internet's working, working a little slow right now. Uh, let's see if this connects while we're taking a look at that. Um, it has a good description of what this is all about, what it means and what to look for. And you can see as the signal changes colors and ultimately, you know, generally turns by after it marks the bottom, but you can see where it starts to mark the bottom. Uh, we have last year's cycle to kind of look into. And here's where you can kind of look at, look at some of these charts and some of these models. It has all the different ones between, um, uh, the stock to flow model, fear and greed, pie cycle top, golden ratio, you know, all these different things, uh, Bitcoin hash rate. Uh, I've got a delay on my internet here uh, today. So let's go to the Bitcoin hash rate. So anyways, look into Bitcoin is a good resource to look at the Bitcoin hash rate indicator. And it kind of explains to you what the hash rate is all about. And uh, it also will explain to you about the hash ribbon indicator. Let's see if I can find that real quickly here. It's got uh, it's got all kinds of different charts in here to look at. That's not the one I was looking at. Here it is, hash ribbon indicator, there it is. So this right here explains how, you know, the Bitcoin charts uh, calculated and, you know, what that all means and looks like. And uh, you can see it right now where it is at in terms of what that hash rate looks like. So it goes into a good description about it, how it's calculated and how to use it. So that's a good resource there. But uh, anyways, I wanted to bring that to your attention. This is a good thing to keep your eye on. It will help you understand, especially looking at last year at this exact time. You can even go back into 2018, 2019 and kind of look how it played out back then because right now I feel like based on everything, uh, you know, this could potentially be the area that we're rolling in right now where this, where it just first flashed, it looks exactly like this right now. This is going back to 2018 and this is back in October when it first started flashing. And then let's see where it dropped there from that standpoint, from the initial flash, that was a bigger one. That was about 50% down from the initial flash uh, right in that area. Let's see, it's right here. So yeah, that looks like, this chart in the way. Yeah, 51%. So, um, 
interesting. I think that's kind of the area where we're at. Let's take a look at what does 51% look like if Bitcoin were to drop that much uh, from where we are now. We'll take a look at that. Let's turn this off here and let's see what 51% looks like. So if that were the case and Bitcoin dropped 51% from where the signal is flashing from the range high, that puts you down around 15,000. So, you know, there's some technical analysis that will show you that you could potentially get down there if you break some of these levels. Obviously, the next level is at 23,000. So we have the 200 week moving average coming in at 23. Um, the hash ribbon indicator last year, the percentage of drop uh, to the bottom when it flashed puts you down at 23, puts Bitcoin at 23,000. If that support doesn't hold, then your next support is in that uh, previous high of 20,000, 19, 20,000. And then if that breaks, then, you know, it gets down back to that $12,000 to $15,000 level. So that's what I'm looking at today. And I uh, wanted to bring that to your attention. We'll keep an eye on things. And uh, if anything pops up, I will uh, bring you another video. But until then, uh, I will see you on the next video.